Blackford. Outside in 21, John Vallow from Miamisburg. The second row from Reynoldsburg, it's Bobby Edwards and your fast qualifier, new track record holder from New Carlisle, Dick Dunleavy Jr. Four of your fastest qualifiers going four laps. Bussy Blackford, the leader. John Vallow is second. Bobby Edwards, third. Blackford has been getting this car closer and closer all year long. Faster and faster. I think he finished third last week. Halfway. Bussy Blackford, the leader. for Blackford. Blackford finished fifth a week ago. Vallow is second. Edwards third. And the winner in car 55, Bussy Blackford. So again, these four cars are already locked in to tonight's 100 lap feature. Blackford's third trophy dash of 1991 here at the Speedway. Larry Flint to gate B, please. Larry Flint, please report to gate B. So four of the eight fastest qualifiers. They'll race four laps. Brad Malkett, Terry Humphrey, Don Wetnall, and Gary St. Amant. Malkett, the leader, through turn number one. Second now is St. Amant. He'll look to the inside of Malkin down the back stretch. They'll be halfway this time. Now St. Amant is the leader. Your second fast qualifier, Gary St. Amant, now the leader. Brad Malkin is second. White flag this time. the second four lap dash from Columbus, Gary St. Amant. Second is Brad Malkett. Third, Terry Humphrey. And fourth, Don Wetnall. Again, the winner, Gary St. Amant. Right, which means the uh, the fastest car in each heat race starts in seventh place. And uh, the cars that were slower than that start in front of them. However, the last chance race will start heads up, which means the fastest qualifier not yet qualified for the John Knuckles Memorial later. We'll start on the pole of the last chance race. Ten laps to go. Ten racing laps. The leader is Gary Estes. In car number two. Brian Volk in 30. Now they, now they are 12 laps. Sorry about that. 12 lap heat races, not 10 laps. Your leader is Gary Estes. Second is Ed Duncan. 
third now, Wayne Watercutter moves on the inside of Brian Volk. Top four to the feature. Volk slips back yet another spot. Stuck on the outside. Rich Roar in 17. Gary Estes in car number two, your leader. Now Roar inside of Watercutter. Rich Roar up to third. He'll set his sights on a second place at Duncan. They'll be halfway in this 12 lap event this time around. So again, the cars that will would qualify if it was over now would be the top four. Greg Markham with a heck of a race with Wayne Watercutter. Now Markham is up to fourth. Markham is fourth. And Rich Rohr closes in on Ed Duncan. Roar right on a back bumper of Ed Duncan. Now Roar will try the high groove. White flag this time for Gary Estes. Car number two, Gary Estes. Second is Ed Duncan. Finishing third, Rich Rohr. And finishing fourth, Greg Markham. So those are your four cars from this event. Now qualified for the 100 lapper. Two black cars on the front row in car number 29 from Akron, Ohio, the driver Roger Black. Roger Black in car 29, alongside in car number 91 from Xenia, Ohio, it's Scott Drake. In the second row, in car number nine, from Columbus, Danny Eaves, and another Columbus driver, car 47, Larry Harris. Row number three, this driver from Germantown, Ohio, it's Joe Hill, and alongside of Joe, in car number 26, Bill Cantley. In the fourth row, car number 65, is Tim Ice, in car number four, Larry Harris. And finally, on the tail, car 43, it's Wilbur Roby. Stay tuned. At intermission, we'll be calling off those lucky numbers from the program. Nine cars, only four, transferred to the main event. Roger Black, the leader.
Second is Dan Eves. Third in car 70, it's Joe Hill. Eves tries to make his way around black. and final transfer spot. Now Hill slides to the inside of Roger Black. Hill in 70. Black will try to get down behind Hill, but no cigar as Tim Ice is right there. Halfway. finally makes it to the bottom of the racetrack, or does he? Three abreast down the back stretch. And Larry Harris now fourth. Your top four, Dan Eves, Joe Hill, Tim Ice, Larry Harris. Bill Canley now pulls up to challenge Larry Harris for fourth. Ten laps this time, two to go. tight race for that fourth and final transfer position. White flag this time. Dan Eves leads the pack down the back stretch. Now Canley will go to the outside of Harris, but your winner will be Danny Eves. with an excellent driving job to keep that car 26 out of the wall. Eves the winner. Joe Hill finishes second. Third was the Iceman, Tim Ice. And finishing fourth, Larry Harris in car 47. Those are your four cars that will now be racing in the John Knuckles Memorial. In car number 43, I think they'll score that as 93 tonight. Ken Phillips. And alongside in car number 52, Ron Otto Jr. The second row in car number 19, it's Carlton Smith. And alongside Carlton in 67, Patrick Jones, Pat Jones. Car number 72 is next at Scott Hands from Angola, Indiana. And alongside from the Akron, Ohio area, Mike Miller. The next row in car 61 from Mechanicsburg, Ohio, Mike Ward. And alongside in 73, it's Ray Frucci. And finally on the tail, car 94, Robbie Dean. to go. Only the only four transfer to the feature events. Larry, make that Ken Phillips in 93. But your leader now is Ron Otto Jr. Running 
third is Pat Jones. Fourth, a race between Carlton Smith and Mike Miller. Two laps this time. Phillips now tries to challenge Otto on the inside. Scott Hands in 72, working the outside groove of Carlton Smith. And sideways down the front stretch. But speaking of sideways, it's Mike Miller with a spin in turn two. Mike Miller in car 53. Lap completed. We always revert back to the previous completed green flag lap, completely green flag lap for our lineup. That's what we did. We went back and saw where these cars were running at the previously completed lap when they all completed the lap, and that's the order they were running in. Four laps are down of this 12-lap event. Smith. Still Ron Otto Jr. the leader. They'll get a halfway signal this time. Halfway. Now Dean on the inside of hands. Ken Phillips. And a collision on the backstretch. remain in this 12 lap event. Ron Otto, Ken Phillips, Pat Jones, and Carlton Smith. And Ray Frucci in 73 off the pace. is out in 73. Your leader is Otto. Now Scott Hands is up to fifth spot. Ken Phillips on the inside of Ronnie Otto. Phillips in 43. White fly this time. And the winner will be Ronnie Otto. Ken Phillips is second, third Pat Jones, and fourth Carlton Smith. So there you've got the bulk of the 24 car field. Top four finishers transfer to the 100 lapper.
your fastest four qualifiers, four laps for the limited sportsman cars. Stapleton the leader after one lap. Mike Rush now is second. But Renner challenges on the outside in 12. Halfway. Now Mike Brown moves to the inside of Mike Rush on the backstretch. Brown sideways. And he'll spin, white flag. Still the leader is Carl Stapleton. And the winner will be Carl Stapleton. Mike Rush is second, Don Renner third, and Mike Brown fourth. On the pole in car 88, Rick Rotowaltz, and alongside in car number 90, car number 90, I know who that is, that's Daryl Combs. The second row is Terry Humphrey Jr., and outside of Terry, in 72, let's see, that's Craig Parker. In the third row, car number 2. is Lenny Collins and car 48 Willie Bigham and finally the fourth and final row in car 72 no, that's not right 73 Randy Sward and 53 Russ Bob Racing laps. Rick Rodewald in 88, the leader. Daryl Combs in 90. And Combs takes over in car number 90. Still holds on to second. But now Terry Humphrey Jr. And a good drive for Humphrey. Hit 27. Humphrey is up to second. And Russ Bob, who started all the way in back, challenges Humphrey on the outside. Halfway. Bigham up to fourth. Daryl Combs still. And we got a yellow flag. As Rick Rodewald in 88. I don't remember on that flying track that they have some You remember they have they don't have Four to go. 
It's still Daryl Combs, the leader. Russ Bob looks to the inside of Combs down the back stretch. Russell Bob, the leader in 53, Russ Bob. Second is Daryl Combs. Third now, Willie Bigham. And fourth, Randy Sward. Now, Willie Bigham challenges Combs on the outside, down the back stretch. White flag for Russ Bob. Bigham now second, but Randy Sward will try to challenge down the backstretch. Your winner will be Russ Bob. Second is Willie Bigham. Third, Randy Sward. And fourth, Dean Combs. Make that Daryl Combs. Cook in 77, alongside in car number six, Tony Signs. The second row in 02, Charlie Osborne, and flanking him in 74, Ken Sward. In row number three, it's car number 10. Those cars hard to tell apart, the 10 and 11 car. That is 10, Robin Pendleton, and alongside in 71, Larry Peterson, and finally, Jim Cruz on the tail. Again, eight laps for this the second limited sportsman heat race. Cook in 77. The leader, second is Tony Signs. They'll get the halfway signal, cross flag signifying halfway. Ken Sward on the outside challenging Tony Sines for second position. But now Charlie Osborne squeezes inside of Sines down the backstretch. He backs out in turn three. Now Ken Sward sets his sights on the leader, Bo Cook. And here comes Larry Peterson moving up to third. Bob Bocook disqualified for breaking out. Bocook much faster than his qualifying time. Now the leaders weave around Bocook. Checker flag. The winner will be Larry Peterson. Ken Sward finishes second. So again, Bob Bocook, the leader, was running much faster than his qualifying time. They're only allowed to run so much faster, and 
We try to do that to keep everybody honest in qualifying. And Bo Cook was uh, Dick Kelly. The second row in car 22, Tom Randolph. One more time. The first one was who, please? And outside in car number zero, Don Hill Jr. Then comes car number 31, Dennis Kelly. In car 29, Bob Justice. And finally, starting seventh, car 25, Jim Kidd. Again, eight laps to go. will lead lap, lap number one in car 11. And Tom Randolph with a near miss. Sideways down there in turn number four. Everybody makes it through there. Steve Scott, your leader. So still Steve Scott, Dick Kelly, Tom Randolph. Randolph again sideways off the fourth turn. Bob Justice will move up to challenge. the last time around Scott still holds on to that narrow margin over Dick Kelly now Bob Justice closes in on the lead duo calls it quits in 22. Meantime, your leader remains Steve Scott. He'll get the white flag this time. Kelly tries the inside. Can't make it stick in turn one. But he'll try it again down the back stretch. The winner will be Steve Scott. Second is Dick Kelly. Finishing third, car 31, Dennis Kelly. Not sure what happened to uh, Bob Justice. He slowed at the end. Hopefully that's not terminal. Bob has been turning in some excellent runs in the last couple weeks here in limited sportsman racing action. Stock Trophy Dash. Outside of row number one, it'll be Paul Baker Jr. And the second row, Gary Carter. And outside of him, your fast qualifier, Dan Brown. Your fastest four street stocks going at it for four laps.
tight race in the street stock action. Now your leader is Paul Baker Jr. Here comes Dan Brown from fourth starting spot. They'll get the halfway signal this time. Still Paul Baker. Dan Brown now up to third is Gary Carter. White flag for Paul Baker. Now Gary Carter moves up to challenge the top two runners. And your winner will be close. I better wait on official scoring for that one. Which way do you see? The winner was Paul Baker Jr. Second, Gary Carter. Finishing third, Dan Brown. And fourth, Butch McAllister. The lineup goes like this. Jim Roman's in 36. Herb Pennington drives 89. The second row is Mike Taylor in 23. And outside, Gary Forbes. Jerry Pauley will start inside of row number three. And alongside of him, Randall Borman. Then comes 98, Dean Stuckey. And 41, Brian New. Next up, it's 69, Clyde Trowbridge. 90, Eric Nachman, 25, Daryl Parsons, and 28, Fred Hartzell. Eight laps to go. Before the before the red flag was Jim Romans, he is disqualified because he broke out running much faster than his qualifying time. So Jim Romans is out, and also Randall Borman disqualified for creating that red flag. So Randall Borman out because of rough driving, and Jim Romans out as he's running much faster than his qualifying run. And the leader in car 89. Second is Gary Forbes. Third, Dean Stuckey. And fourth, Mike Taylor. One lap in the record books. Johnny and Kenny Vault. Johnny and Kenny Vault to your parents' seats, please. Pennington is off the track on the backstretch. The new leader is Gary Forbes. Dean Stuckey at 98. Looks to the inside of Gary Forbes. Stuckey a long time competitor here at the Speedway. be half 
halfway this time around. Four down, four to go. Now Stuckey and Forbes, door to door down the back stretch. Clyde Trowbridge is third, Mike Taylor fourth. Trowbridge tries to slip on the inside of Stuckey. Can't do it. Mike Taylor squirrely on the back stretch. Everybody still running. Good race for that lead. Clyde Trowbridge looks for a way around. And here comes Daryl Parsons. White flag this time. Leaders down the back stretch. Still, door handle to door handle. Now Stuckey with an advantage. And the winner will be Dean Stuckey. I'll have to wait for an official finish, but no doubt about the winner, it's Dean Stuckey. I wonder how long it's been since that gentleman has won a heat race or any kind of a race here at the Speedway. But uh, he did tonight. Again, the winner, Dean Stuckey. Ron Mangus in double zero, and Dave Dysinger in 27. Next up at 63, Craig Osborne, and 15, Steve Snap. Then comes 33, Jim McCauley. Car 44, Joe D. Felice. Car number 12 is Don Parsons. And car 22, Donald Parsons III. They, too, will have eight laps of racing action. down the front stretch. Your leader is Buddy Townsend. Second is Steve Snap. Third now, Dave Dysinger. And now Steve Snap, Snap goes underneath Buddy Townsend. Now Dave Dysinger second, Buddy Townsend third, Mike Hamilton fourth. Four laps completed this time around. And double zero, Ron Mangus disqualified for rough driving. Mangus in double zero, disqualified for rough driving. Steve Snap still the leader. White flag this time for Steve Snap.
Hooks on the outside of Snap. Hamilton is third. The winner will be Steve Snap. Followed by Dave Dysinger, Mike Hamilton, Buddy Townsend, and Jim McCulley. transfer on the pole in 61 it's Mike Ward alongside in 26 Bill Cantley the second row in car 53 that's Mike Miller and alongside in 14 that'll be Steve Peck in row number three car 30 it's Brian Volk and outside of Brian in car number 10 the car is driven by Wayne Watercutter. Next, in car number 29. Now, wait a minute, I've got a couple cars out of order here. I should have looked at my lineup. Let me start over again here. In the third row, car 72, Scott Hands. And outside of him, in car number 10, Wayne Watercutter. Then comes car 30, Brian Volk. And car 91, Scott Drake. 29 is next, that's... Roger Black, and outside in eight, Bobby Jacks. Then comes car number four, driven by Larry Harris. Car 43, Wilbur Roby. Car 94, Robbie Dean. And car 73, Ray Frucci. 14 cars, only four, transfer to the feature event. Your top four finishers. Again, they will race 15 laps. Immediately following this, we will have a brief intermission after this event. underway.
way. while the cars go back to the pits and get comes Mike Ward, Greg Markham, Bill Cantley, and Mike Miller, Steve Peck, and Joe Hill, Larry Harris, and Pat Jones, Dan Eves, and Gary Estes, Ron Otto Jr., then comes Ken Phillips, and in 49, Robbie D. <laughs> Kathy Blocker to gate B, please. Kathy Blocker to the general mission gate, please. Knuckles Memorial.
Jesse Blackford, John Ballow, Brad Malkett, your top three. squad is still on the property so if we should have a problem so don't be concerned that there's not a squad on the property we do still have our squad on the property 
and the Hamilton Township squad is on its way to transport Larry Harris. So, 21 laps complete. Bussie Blackford, Terry Humphrey, Don Wetnall, Gary St. Amant, Rich Rohr, Tim Ice, Bobby Edwards, Ken Phillips, Joe Hill, Steve Peck, Ronnie Otto, and Dick Dunleavy Jr.
Amont goes to work on the outside of Wetnall. St. Amont in 71 makes a move.
outside of Steve Peck, a lap car. Twenty laps to go, twenty laps. to the outside of Steve Peck. Contact with the turn one wall. That's Dick Dunleavy Jr. Tire, an errant tire. We're not sure. Looks like a tire came off or they say. The running order, John Ballow, Gary St. Amant, Steve Peck is a lap down. In third is Bussy Blackford. Fourth is Don Wetnall. And fifth, Terry Humphrey.
backstretch. Two laps to go. White flag. White flag this time. Gary Sandemont and John Vallow, a great race. Dan Eves into the wall on the finish. He's out of the car. And we, all the fans here, love or hate you or whatever, or mi have mixed emotions. I'm sure it was a very, uh, very emotional deal for you too, huh? Well, it got tough out there. You know, Gary's one of the cleanest drivers around, and he gave me all the room I needed, but, you know, we just raced as hard as we could, and uh, I was handling pretty good on the outside, so, you know, he, he was going good on lows. It just worked out good for me. I ran into a lap car. Well, yeah, but you were really going good there the last... Five laps for the John Knuckles Memorial in the Limited Sportsman Division. 35 laps. Tom Randolph going at it for that second spot. Make that Steve Scott and Dick Kelly. to slow in 29. Jim Kidd out now in car 25 on the backstretch. Meantime, the lead battle heats up. Don Hill Jr. now to the outside of Jim Cruz.
this time for Don Hill Jr. late model features. Don Hill Jr., the leader, 19 laps are down. this time. Junior, five laps to go. Second is Jim Cruz. Third, Dick Kelly.
for Don Hill Jr. Jim Cruz still second, Dick Kelly third. And the winner of the John Knuckles Memorial for the Limited Sportsman, Zero Hill. Cruz will finish second, Dick Kelly third, and Mike Rush fourth. So Don Hill Jr., the winner for the limited sportsman cars. He'll get the plaque from Jerry Pauly, that's Dean Stuckey outside of row number one. Jerry Pauly, Eric Nachman, uh, Randall Borman, Buddy Townsend, Clyde Trowbridge, Ron Mangus, Daryl Parsons, oh, Mike Hamilton, Steve Snap, Dave Dysinger, Joe D. Felice, Jim McCauley, Don Parsons, uh, Donald Parsons and Paul Baker, Danny Brown, Butch McAllister, Gary Carter, Gary Forbes, and Fred Hartzell. Amazing. I don't know how everybody got through that. Let's hear it for those drivers this time around. A whale of a job. I'm going to have to have an underwear check on Buddy Townsend, I think. Yeah. Meantime, your leader is Dean Stuckey in 98. out of this 30 lap feature event. Dean Stuckey the leader. Steve Snap is now second. Ron Mangus off the track in double zero on the backstretch. And Steve Snap, the new leader. Red flag as we've got a big oil spill down in turn number one. Eric Nachman in 90 apparently had something let loose. 25 to go. the leader. And Jim Rowan's at 36 with a spin on the backstretch.
lead leader. Second is Paul Baker Jr. Ten laps down. takes over in car number two. Following him through is Paul Baker Jr. And a red flag is Randall Borman at 87. Stopped up in... White flag will get underway the next time around. Paul Baker Jr. is second. Steve Snap, fourth is Donald Parsons, and fifth, Joe D. Felice, and 44. Fourth turn, your leader in car two.
is third. Carter up to third. This time, Dan Brown now down the front stretch. And the winner, his eighth feature win of 1991, the winner of the John Knuckles Memorial Four Street Stocks, Danny Brown. Second, coming across the line now, Paul Baker Jr. Finishing third is Gary Carter. Fourth will be Steve Snap, and fifth, Donald Parsons the third. A full night of racing here at the Speedway. Again, folks, we apologize for the lateness of the hour. As you're aware, we had a lot of trouble with uh, blown engines and oil spills, and we apologize again for the lateness of the hour. But... Uh, we feel like you got your money's worth tonight. So the John Knuckles Memorial winners, John Ballow in the late model division, Don Hill Jr. in the East Limited Sportsman division, and Danny Brown in street this event will be a big one, the Chevron Big Rig 100. In addition to the late models, two weeks from tonight, we'll have twin 30 lap late model features. Three weeks from tonight, on August 10th, We'll have the All-American Midget Series. Let's hear it. Dan Brown, your winner. As always, thanks for coming out. A full 